what still needs to be recognized or what we still have to talk about is why, if it can account for all of this phenomena, it's wrong or it's incomplete. What are its major problems? Yeah, so I think the, um, well, so, 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 so one problem, the problem people <clears throat> mostly emphasize is, is that of gravity, that, you know, it, um, it doesn't kind of tell you, it's perfectly consistent with a kind of a classical description of gravity, but if you then start to do thought experiments about, you know, what if you could do an, do an experiment at a scale where you could see quantum effects of gravity, then the standard way of kind of applying quantum theory to Einstein's equation gives you some inconsistent, is, is not quite consistent, so you gotta do something about that. That's, that's the main thing everybody, um, you know, <laughs> emphasizes and is motivated <clears throat> most of what people do. I think it's also more important to realize though that the, um, the theory, just looking at it seems to be very incomplete in the sense that it doesn't, it, you know, while it's giving you accurate numbers, it's telling you how to calculate things. It's, it's kind of not, there, there's a lot of things that just doesn't seem to be explaining what you think uh, a truly fundamental theory, which is supposed to really capture everything that's going on, should tell you. And one aspect of this is that, um, for instance, you know, it, it says there are all these different kind of fundamental fields and particles, there are quarks, electrons, muons, talons, et cetera, and they all want, there's a different mass parameter for each one. So there's this very, very long list of these mass parameters, and um, they're just a bunch of random numbers, and you have to put them in by hand. And they're, if you look into the theory, they, they in some sense measure, these numbers measure how strongly the, um, the field describing the particle interacts with the Higgs field. And, um, but, you know, why, why this completely weird random set of numbers? And, and then there's also, you know, kind of somewhat larger structural things that you've got. You, for instance, you've gotten these three forces, and they're described by gauge fields of the group U1, SU2, and SU3. So why, why three? Why U1? Why SU2? Why SU3? And um, so a lot of effort has kind of gone into, I think so far fairly unsuccessfully, into trying to come up with an improvement in the standard model that would actually answer some of those questions. Mm -hmm. but, but, but that, that really just kind of has, has not successfully worked so far. Mm -hmm.